that is crucial. You have to be constantly picking up new things or getting rid of things that don't work from each event. Otherwise, you'll, you'll get stagnant. Other athletes will figure you out. You'll just be predictable. Exactly. Now, the male minus 60 kilogram category out between Nenad Nenad Dolovic from Montenegro and here wearing the gold on the shoulders to signify that he is the grand winner from the Karachman Premier League last season Eri Samdan of Turkey Samdan was a world champion and a bronze medalist at under 21 Three times he's been continental winner and he's had three Karate One Premier League wins. Dulovic hasn't won at Karate One Premier League level yet or at World. He's just 20 years old. Good experience for him to be on this oh, stage at 20. Against, uh, against uh, a grand winner from last year as well, isn't it? And well, something you'll see with Samdan, he very versatile. So you don't know what you're going to get. It could be punches, could be head kicks. The full range. He stays open to it. Yasuhisa Abe from Japan, the referee gets them underway. Now Samdan came through the round, he had a bye as due to his seeding in the first round was 6-0 in the second, 4-1, then a 2-0. And he lost in the semi-final by two points. The world champion is Angelo Crescenzo from Italy, and he'll be going for gold later. Looks like a passivity, and that's the signal. The referee rolls the arms and gives a Chikoku warning. pretty close. You see Sandan tries that Chudan Mawashi the body kick. Looks like coach is gonna go for it. Yeah the, the, there were a couple of techniques exchanged in that little flurry. But we see here there's the Chudan Mawashi the roundhouse kick to the body it went in under the arms now, whether the form was good enough will be determined by the video review team, as you can see in the bottom left of your screen. They might think it's a little tight, a little close, but it looks like it was unblocked. But it has been scored. It was, it was quite a powerful kick. That was perhaps the reason they gave it the yeah. vigorous application, one of the, three, one of the six criteria. And it's also important how contested it was in that block just wasn't there. So... Emery Samdan, the grand winner from last year, out in front now. See how quick he was there with that takedown. Samdan has the Wazari score, the two point score. And you see Sweep the green dot. Hard. So he has the sent you. We might see that sweep again. Red has a really deep, low stance, and so when he loses his footing, he's going to go to the ground. Sandan tries that high roundhouse kick. Although he's right on the edge of the tatami, Sandan quite cleverly nice escape sidesteps, there. doesn't he, out of the way. Full of confidence. He has all the ability. As you said, Tom, he can kick, he can punch. <laughs> This time he does step off the tatami. You see the signal from the judge in the corner. The referee has the support of two judges and he can invoke the warning, which gives now Samdan a kekoku. With this much time left, Montenegro should definitely be looking for single scores. He doesn't need a home run here. Of course, uh, that's a, a baseball term. Fabulous in Japan in particular. Of course. 
So maybe it works here. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, home runs definitely work here in Japan with the with baseball. There's a video review challenge. I'm afraid you and I had a good angle on that one. That punch seemed to miss past the face. You can see the video team just reviewing this. And it has been rejected. And Julius Paniski, one of the video review scrutineers. That was a neat move. Fake the spin rear, just the spin, and then get right to hands. It's a combination, the Ashley Bride, the sweep, and the punch attempt there from Dulovic. Sandan just ruining the distance. Even though red hit him, blue crushed the distance, got too close. Sandan's still looking very comfortable, isn't he? Mm -hmm. So Nenad Dulovic has got to score three times to win. He scores two because the Senchu is being held by Eri Samdan with that little green dot on the side of the score to show that he has the Senchu advantage. Now, this time the strategy works for Dulovic. Delivered a, a very strong punch there. Gets the Yuko score. In the last 15 seconds, he's now going to have put as much pressure on he, as he can if he can get one more point and force an error against Sam Dan. He stands a chance. Oh, John Amawashi! Wow! Fabulous technique there from Eri Sam Dan. Getting close to the Joe Guy line. He knew that Dolovich was going to put as much pressure on as he could and throws in that John Amawashi, that roundhouse kick. And again, he went up close, but it wasn't quite as good this time as we come to the end of the bout. And a 5-1 convincing win from the grand winner of the 2018 season. There is a video challenge from the coach. He believes that that last John Amawashi, Gary, and this is an interesting one. His player is leading 5.1. And he has the Senchu, as you can see. It wasn't quite as good as the first one. You'll see that, that coaches will do that. They'll use that card to that be pause the action. Yes. If your athlete's in, in trouble, yep. that coach will give the card up. You don't need it anymore today. Oh, no, that's, that's true, isn't it? It's a, it's a metal match. And you saw it all, just like we said. Body kicks, head kicks, takedowns. Sandan's well-rounded athlete. But he's certainly demonstrating why he is in fifth place in the Olympic standing. There was that Jordan Mawashi. That was the first one, didn't score. That was score. the Jordan Mawashi. There we go, yeah. Yeah, that was the, the one that went in. Here we go, the stood him video. up. There we go, perfect technique. Right on the side of the head. Excellent control, yep. techniques have to be controlled. 